Hey everyone, Mitch coming in from the Commander's Core studio. Welcome to the show. So, goodness gracious, I mean, Wizards had things down for a little bit. They had things figured out for a little bit when it came to leaks. I mean, it feels like we haven't gotten any major leaks for quite a while now. And now all of a sudden, things are starting to come out. I mean, it's not all on Wizards sometimes. Sometimes it's a distributor who accidentally puts a certain image on the internet when they didn't mean to have it live on the internet. And all of a sudden, the Magic community is like, uh, hi, early, thank you. Yes. So on today's episode, let's talk about the leaks from Outlaws at Thunder Junction. And I'm already making mistakes. I called Outlaws at Thunder Junction. But if we look at the actual leaked image, and we've got some other leaked notes too to talk about, we see it's Outlaws of Thunder Junction. There we go. Regardless, in this image, you will see that we have four Commander Precons coming out in Outlaws. I'm just going to shorthand it with Outlaws. Is that okay with you? Good. I, I hope so. I mean, I can't really hear you right now. I can see in the comments later if you say it's okay or not, but right now I can't hear you, so I'm just going to assume. Anyways, so we have four Precons apparently coming out in Thunder Junction. Just call the opposite now. We've got Quick Draw, which is Is It Desert Bloom, which is Naya, Grand Larceny, that's a really cool name, which is Sultai, and Most Wanted, which is Mardu. So, really cool. We got a two color and three three colors. Looks like all colors are pretty evenly shown off looks like green green that's two greens white white two white red red two red blue blue two blue and black black yeah i guess it's completely even unless i made a mistake right there completely even so a really interesting kind of melding of different things going on here quick draw i assume things are going fast desert bloom uh oh looks it says underneath them obviously <laughs> uh send uh so sling multiple spells there we go unleash big turns okay that sounds like is it right probably getting a lot of treasures in that desert bloom discard lands grow them back so that's interesting being able to get lands in your graveyard and also bring them back out of your graveyard some oh goodness uh crucible worlds type things there we go Grand Larceny, steal cards, generate mana. Yeah, that seems like everything a Salt Eye player ever wants. Um, I'm looking for a Villainous Wealth to be in that deck, or hopefully a new Villainous Wealth type card as well. Most Wanted, uh, Earn Treasure. Okay, so there's the treasure, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, Buy Outlaws. There you go. So, yeah, we are getting more treasures. Uh, that's exciting for some. Uh, some like me might be like, okay, um, maybe hold off on the treasures a little bit, Wizards. Or like, can you give us like a fixed treasure that's like, instead of it being, you know... Hey, this is a card that enters the battlefield untapped. Maybe it's like broken treasure that enters the battlefield tapped. Just a, just a thought to slow things down, just a tiny bit. So let's jump into some of the details. The Reddit post, Outlaws of Thunder Junction, new information. Uh, also known as a spoiler slash leak because technically unofficial, but uh, we shall see what it says. Since seeing the leaked promotional images the other day, I have been looking for more info on the upcoming set and found some interesting tidbits I hadn't seen anywhere else, so I thought I'd share. And then from mtgazone.com slash that. Yeah, you can go there if you need to. Breaking news card in every pack. Every play boost contains at least one breaking news card, a reprint venture featuring new art in a front page new style frame. Reporting the spell is a crime. Do you dare becoming that spell casting outlaw? Interesting. So that, I mean, obviously it could be things like um, murder. That could be obviously a crime. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of crime cards in Magic. Just like playing a Cyclonic Rift itself is a crime. So we'll see what actually gets uh, reprinted in that. But that could be, lead to some good reprints, especially for Commander, I would assume. Next up, each play booster contains 14 Magic Gathering cards in one token ad card for art. Uh, regular art card can be found 30%. The foil stamp signature art card can be found. Each pack includes a combination of one to five cards of rarity, of rarity rare or higher in three to six uncommon, five to six common one land. That's typical. Uh, one card of any rarity traditional foil. The land card is also traditional foil and so on and so forth. Moving on, settle up for a wild ride. Join Oko's Deadly Desperados as they plot a brazen heist in the frontier world of Thunder Junction, Magic's first western theme setting. So, looks like Oko is back, which I believe has been in some of the promotional art. And uh, apparently Oko's got some Deadly Desperados and just doing a heist, uh, maybe with some elk, potentially. So, we'll see. Uh, criminally cool cards. Each pack contains six all border cards, including at least three breaking news cards. Reprints that report a spellcasting crime with front page news style frames. You may even have a boreless version with a slick texture foil treatment, a collector booster exclusive. Nice. 
Uh, in this box, you'll find 12 Owl's Thunder Junction Collector's Boosters, each containing 15 Magic Gathering cards, and so on and so forth as to what's being in there. Uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't have read that other one earlier, just kind of going through exactly what's in one of these, but the more interesting things, let's go into them right now. Quick draw is it the Thrill Seeking Knife Throwing Atten Nomad Stella is an undisputed champ of dueling. So that's what we're going to be getting out of Is It. So we have a knife throwing commander in Is It. Maybe it's kind of like a gutter snipe type effect, essentially. Like whenever you're casting a non creature spell or an Is It or sorcery, you know, you actually get like a pinging effect out of that potentially. Maybe a different kind of benefit out of that. That could be very interesting. Uh, here comes a showdown throwdown. Become the quickest draw in Thunder Junction, casting multiple souls per turn, and duel your friends with a blue red deck that's ready to play right out of the box. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess, again, kind of like it said in the box, you're going to be casting multiple spells, slinging. So, again, since since Mardu has treasures, it looks like, again, according to the boxes, and it wasn't really said on the Is It box that there are treasures, there are probably some, I would assume. Maybe more so, though, we are getting some more ritual effects in that, or some cost-reducing effects, too, to help you cast multiple spells in a turn. So, we shall see exactly what that is. Just my thoughts, all right? And I'd love to hear from you in the comments what your thoughts are. Uh, Desert Bloom, Naya. After fleeing, uh, fleeing his old life, Yuma finds his purpose caring for an infant cactus folk. What? Cactus folk? <laughs> okay, I missed that part earlier. Cactus folk? Okay, so we have... Oh, that just reminds me of, like, Final Fantasy uh, with, like, the... Uh, I can't remember the cactus. It was in Final Fantasy... Gosh, was it 9? Oh, gosh, what was that one? with The one with Vivi. Was it 9? Did I have Vivi? And I had, like, the little cactus that ran around that you could never catch it. Uh, at least I never, I never caught it. It was really impossible to actually get... Sure, someone out there, comment below you have. Uh, but yeah, apparently of infant cactus folk. That's really cool. I wonder if it's gonna be like the type is gonna be cactus or just like plant. I would assume plant, but uh, yeah, let me know. I can't wait to see some cactus. Oh my gosh. Uh, also, please let me know. I don't believe that Stella or Yuma have actually been characters before, so let me know in the comments. Well, I don't believe they have, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, bring life to the desert, discard land cards and rejuvenate them for a lively victory with this red, green, white deck that's ready to play around the box. I actually didn't even think about this. So, desert, uh, pretty obvious with uh, like the Thunder Junction kind of theme and being like Wild West essentially, and obviously calling Desert Bloom. I would assume we're getting deserts back in Allos at Thunder Junction, Allos of Thunder Junction. I hope. Oh my goodness, yes. Give me some more deserts, please, because. I mean, deserts are pretty cool. At least they, they made a big impact in certain other formats. I believe in standard, that one red one was doing a lot of work. That being said, like in commander, they're cool. Like there's certain nice ones out there. And there's that one that you like sacrifice a desert to like exile a graveyard, which is just kind of good to throw into a deck if you need a utility land. But the thing is like deserts, again, it's like sacrifice a desert. So you end up usually sacrificing itself, which sometimes you don't want to do that. You'd rather sacrifice a different desert if you had one. There's only so many deserts out there. So... I like that we're potentially, and I hope that we are getting more deserts in this set. That would be fantastic. And more deserts in this pre-con, obviously, as well. That would be very nice to see more desert interaction. And yeah, we have seen a desert commander before, but th I think this, with the ca infant cactus folk, is a pretty cool addition to this. And we can see some really cool things with desert interactions, getting lands out of your graveyard, sacrificing them, getting their abilities again and again and again with deserts. I think we could see some really cool things with that. So I'm really excited about that one. A uh, Grand Larceny. Uh, yeah, sign me up for this one. One's a thief, always a thief. Team up with Gonti. Oh, Gonti's back. That's right. Gonti's back. And instead of being in mono black now, apparently Gonti's like, you know what? The riches are not enough in mono black. So I need Sultai. Add some, you know, Simic flavoring in here to give me even more to gain a wealth of stolen goods and outshine your opponents. Yes, yes, please. I mean, I assume, again, Villainous Wealth is probably in this deck. I love Villainous Wealth. I love Villainous Wealth decks. I've had two in the history of uh, my commander play and uh, in my history of commander play. And uh, I'm hoping for more kind of like villainous well type effects. I, I think, I think there's some potential there for that. Some really cool effects. Again, the original Gonti was just pretty cool and how it actually kind of like stole things off your opponent's libraries and allowed you to utilize them. So I'm assuming this new Gonti does that, but maybe in a different way we shall see, but really, really cool. Uh, what's theirs is yours. Steal cards from your friends, then defeat them with all shiny spells you've stolen and with this bl black, green, blue deck that's ready to play around the box. So yeah, I mean, that seems like exactly what you're going to be doing. You're going to be taking your opponent's things, whether that's like, you know, being able to take and cast the spell, whether that's being able to, you know, take out of their graveyard and like reanimate it, or just literally just taking cards out of your opponent's decks. So we shall see like bribery type cards. Uh, most wants, we got Mardu. So the Vampire Queen, Olivia Valderin failed to dominate Innistrad, but her new Alliance in Thunder Junction may pr yet prove worthwhile. So interesting that Olivia is back. 
but now on a different plane, essentially. And uh, yeah, just saying like, you know what? I've given up on Innistrad and I'm going to take over this Wild Wild West town for some reason. So there you go. I'm sure there are, you know, actual plot reasons why, but interesting. Regardless, it's going to be interesting to see kind of like what this one is. Let's see. Crime always pays a mass treasure and higher fierce outlaws to overpower your foes with this red white black deck that's ready to play around the box i assume this is not gonna be like vampire tribal even though like olivia is leading it i don't think i mean again i, I don't know anything i guess about thunder junction but i wouldn't think that it's just a plane that has a lot of vampires on it maybe you never know but i wouldn't think this is like a vampire tribal deck it doesn't say it would probably say something like that right so mass treasures Wizards knows that players like treasures these days, so players that uh, like treasures typically go for these kind of precons, which is completely fair, but uh, yeah, I don't know if we need any more treasure support right now, Wizards, please. Or at least, at the very least, again, make those treasures come into play tap, please. I mean, it's a little late since you already have obviously printed this, um, but yeah, we shall see. <laughs> Hopefully it's not overpowered treasures again. That being said, again, seeing a Mardu commander that probably deals with treasures as well, that's going to be pretty interesting, and again... Outlaws, uh, higher fierce outlaws. So I wonder if, I mean, that means like hiring fierce outlaws. Is that just like, okay, the, the different kind of creature types in the deck are outlaw type creatures like assassins and whatnot, or are there going to be some like threatening effects in there too? Or is that like too close to grand larceny where you're actually stealing things with the Gonti deck essentially? I wonder, I mean, I assume it's going to be more on the, your own creatures are more the outlaw type creatures with some more devious kind of actions. Like again, assassins, like I, I hope they bring back assassin type creatures where it's like, Hey, tap, destroy target, tap creature. Those kind of creatures are actually pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I, I think we've got some interesting, you know, new things that have come out about this again. Uh, I believe Outlaws of Thunder Junction comes out. Oh gosh, correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong on this, but like the 16th of April. So I assume spoilers are typically like uh two or three weeks before that so either end of march or early april expect to see spoiler season for that or you know in between then because it looks like some things are a little bit leaky right now with wizards so we shall see if we get some super early previews uh unofficial leaks and again i should probably say this again um these are unofficial leaks so take everything i have said today with a grain of salt even the images that i showed you earlier technically yeah someone out there could have made them would that have taken an absurd amount of time and effort to do that just to trick people? Yes. Would I put it past someone? No. But do I think that they are legitimate? Yeah, I'd give it a 99.9999999999% chance that those are legitimate. 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 So, yeah, it looks exciting. Uh, some really cool art. I do like the Wild West type theme of this. I do like that Magic is pushing its boundaries a little bit and going further and saying, like, okay, what, what haven't we tested out yet? What kinds of planes have we not visited yet i mean again the magic universe is just so open that you can just do anything with it and i'm glad that they are again pushing the boundaries slightly further other than just going back to the exact same planes every single time yes i do like when they go back to planes but also i do like when they kind of push things and go into something new and it seems like we got a couple of sets this year that i'm really excited about Alice of thunder junction is definitely one of them and i do think that if i get the name right Alice of thunder junction <laughs> i do think that these pre-cons do look pretty cool the concepts look great i think they're probably gonna play pretty well together i'm excited to see again some deserts hopefully some new steel cards and i'm really excited to see kind of what kind of outlaws we're getting and how the spell slinger deck is going to be working with that and again like it's a knife throwing commander are we getting pinging effects with that because i love a pinging commander like a gutter snipe type commander could just be absolutely deadly kind of like perforos but for spell slinging maybe maybe we shall see regardless i'd love to hear from you so in the comments below let me know your thoughts are on this and of course we'll stay tuned potentially for even more exciting spoilers and leaks coming out who knows before outlaws of thunder junction or the other sets this year come out because again it seems like wizards has run a pretty tight ship over the past year or so things are getting a little leaky right now so we shall see so yeah let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and of course as always thanks again and have a good one this show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support.